Alright, hello everyone! Today I am going to show you how to do a front facing outward um, carry in the XOXO buckle wrap. And if you have not yet seen this carrier, it's a really fun um, carrier that's out on the market now that has a buckle waist feature. So it just buckles around your waist, which gives you that security of already having your seat made, or the security of having, um, you know what, your baby can't go anywhere, downwards at least, once you have that um, snapped into place. And the other feature that it has with that waistband is it's a really unstructured waist which gives you the flexibility of using it with multiple ages of babies because if you have a newborn, it just scrunches down because it's pretty much nothing but wrap fabric. And if you have an older baby, such as a toddler that you're wanting more support, then you can just spread out your panels to sort of widen them up to give um, that nice, in positioning support to an older baby as well, but it also gives you that flexibility of doing uh, many different styles of carry, such as the outward or front facing out carry that I'm gonna show you in just a moment. And then what you have after you um, look at the waistband are these two panels of wrap scrap or wrap strap fabric, and it's basically a half width um, of a wrap, so when you put it together, you have a full width wrap, so it tells you about how wide that you can um, make the carrier to cover a larger size baby so and they're really long it's hard to show in one one picture but just to kind of give you an idea of what you're kind of looking at to play with so for a front facing out carry one of the most important things to remember is that you want baby to have a decent head and somewhat of trunk control because when you have your baby in an outward facing position what you want to be really careful of is that the baby can't kind of slump down into a chin to chest position, which is just as important in an out facing carry as it is in an inward facing carry. So usually with most babies that's somewhere between two to four months, um, three months is a fairly decent rule, but every baby develops a little bit differently, obviously. So just make sure that they're able to keep their head upright and they have really strong neck control. And another thing that you want to remember is even if your baby does have pretty good neck control, is that if baby starts to go to sleep or they're getting sleepy, then you want to turn them back around as well. Because once again, when they're sleeping, their head's going to kind of loll down and you want to um, not have them into that position. So once baby is old enough to support themselves and support their head in that outward facing position, then that's when you can move into it. And I'll show you a couple ways to use this carrier to still put them in a nice supported position with their knees and their hips, as well as to keep them in a somewhat curved spine position, which is going to make it more comfortable for everybody involved as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is start with our waistband buckle. So I'm gonna flip it inside and I'm gonna start it about, usually with unstructured, I'll find that kind of natural curve of my waist and put the baby there. If I know that I'm working with a really tall baby, such as if I was going to be doing this with my two-year-old, then I would start a little bit lower down because obviously their torso is gonna take up a little bit more room on my torso. But because I'm using a doll, I'm gonna start it at about that natural um, hip position. So I'm just going to put it on and buckle. And this is where the tightening is important because I have not yet tightened the carrier. You can see how there is some gapping in my waistband. And what that's gonna do is once I put baby in, it's gonna start to pull this part downward. And you can see how it's going to put more pressure on my back because of that sort of angle. So what I'm gonna do is just put my hand onto the waistband and kind of press it tight, press it in a little bit, and then pull my strap with the other hand. And what that's gonna do is make sure that it stays nice and um, flush across my body and in that straight position, that parallel to the ground is what you're gonna look for. So from here, I am going to just kind of spread my wrap straps out and just kind of have them separated. And I'm going to take my baby and pick them up and I'm gonna go ahead and put them somewhat into that right position just so you can kind of see. This is about what I'm going to be looking for. So you can see how the knees are up and they're slightly higher than my baby's bottom. And that is what you're gonna to want to sort of accomplish with the carrier once you have it on. It's a little bit harder to see with a baby doll, but I have, my body is supporting the top part of their spine, but it's still allowing the 
bottom of there's going to be somewhat in that curved positioning, which is going to make it more comfortable for you as well. So um, troubleshooting tips if you're having some pressure or it feels like baby's just really pulling or if you're not getting these knees up a little bit higher than the bum, then what you'll need to do is just kind of rotate the hips. So just kind of press up on the bottom a little bit and rotate their hips, which is going to put them slightly more upward. If you can sort of see with that baby doll there. So, so what I'm going to do is just hold baby with one hand and I'm going to reach underneath and I'm going to pull one of the wrap scrap or wrap straps, sorry, up between my baby's legs right here. And what I do is try to make sure that I am covering them in a knee to knee position as I do this. And spread out. I'm gonna switch hands while I reach around behind me. And I'm going to grab that top rail and just kind of pull it snug and just sort of snug up my scrap or my fabric a little bit. All right, so from here, I am going to separate my panels because I want this piece to go underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and lift this one up and with this tension, baby's not gonna go anywhere, obviously. So I'm just going to then take this piece and tuck it in between my legs and I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. So I'm going to pull it across the opposite side now we're gonna fix baby's head in just a minute too. And again, I wanna make sure that I'm taking my fabric and spreading knee to knee. And then I'm gonna reach around behind me again and find my top rail, which we noted because if I pulled on the wrong rail, then you would see the wrong side of the wrap. So that's a good way to kind of indicate if you've got the right side or not. And then I'm just gonna snug everything up so from here, I'm just going to take both sides and do some stitching. And I'm gonna cross these over my baby's body for just a second and hold them between my legs again. And then I'm going to adjust their legs more so in the position that I want them in. All right, so if I feel like there's a lot of gapping on these sides right here, then I'm going to take my wrap straps to kind of close in this gapping. So what I can do is just do kind of like you would do a may tie, do a twist or a Lexi twist and come back around and tie off if you have enough room in your straps to do so. If you don't have enough room in your straps to do so, then you can also just take those straps and do a little bit of a knot and then bring it down a little lower under the baby's bottom or sort of in the middle, but you don't want to be putting too much pressure on their tummy either. So you'll just find where the straps are comfortable for you and for baby. <laughs> you can also bring your straps and kind of do another cross around and cross underneath their leg again. And do the same thing with the other side. Just kind of do a cross around and then cross around that other leg and do a tie off that way as well just depending on what you have the room for if you don't have a lot of tail and um, then you can also just cross under and tie under the bottom as well and then if you feel like baby's head's a little bit lost then you can take these top shoulder straps and either go in from the inside and do a flip and pull them down sort of like this um, which is going to open up your baby's face a little bit more or you can take it from the other side and kind of cross over and loosen up your baby's face as well so if you don't if your baby doesn't like having their arms so low and they want to have their arms out as long as they have fairly decent um, control once again with their torso then they can pull their arms out and get my baby's arm out there we go or both arms out, but just wanna make sure that these cross passes stay about up to armpit level when you're doing that. So you still have that baby in a nice supported position, and that is how you would do an outward front-facing carry in the XOXO.